Dear brothers and sisters, let us offer this Eucharistic celebration for the eternal rest of Mr. Dominic. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate worthily these sacred mysteries, let us ask forgiveness of our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the ancient saints, saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, glory of the faithful and life of the just, by the death and resurrection of whose Son we have been redeemed, look mercifully on your departed servant Dominic, that just as he professed the mystery of, your, of our resurrection, so he may merit to receive the joys of eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the sinful body might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For he who has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, 
we believe that we shall also live with him. For we know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near the restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. Your response? The, the Lord, Lord is my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I, I shall want. want. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil will I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With this, you give me comfort. Your response? The, the Lord, Lord is my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I, I shall want. You have prepared a banquet for me. In the sight of my foes, my head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. Your response? The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I, I shall want. want. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's house shall I dwell forever and ever. The Lord, your response? The Lord, the Lord is, is my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I shall, I shall want. want. Come, O blessed of my Father, says the Lord. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, All that the Father gives me will come to me, and him who comes to me I will not cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up at the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. In the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, This responsorial psalm was Psalm 23. Psalm 23 is a psalm of comfort, is a psalm of hope, is a psalm that promises eternal life. It begins with this beautiful verse, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, is a personal shepherd. David, in this psalm, expresses his own personal experiences as a shepherd boy. He looked after his sheep. His sheep were very personal to him. He cared for them. He knew his sheep. 
his sheep could trust him could depend on him at the same time david as a shepherd was ready to do anything for his sheep even laying down his life this is a good shepherd this is what jesus is jesus is our personal shepherd he knows our needs we lack nothing if we have jesus in our life jesus knows us he has given his life for us he died for us jesus is my shepherd he is a personal shepherd this psalm also says another second quality of the shepherd he is a providing shepherd we read in the psalm he makes me lie down in green pastures my dear brothers and sisters the sheep will not lie down if they are afraid of the environment if there is friction among themselves if there are flies parasites on their bodies if they are hungry they will not lie down but this shepherd is a providing shepherd he makes them lie down in green pastures he leads them in still waters waters that are drinkable waters that are still he restores their soul what do we understand by restoring our souls sheep whenever they are injured the shepherd cares and cures them he restores back their health my dear brothers and sisters our shepherd jesus god our shepherd is a providing shepherd he provides green pastures through the sacred scriptures through his divine word he quenches our thirst through the holy spirit through the sacrament of the eucharist he restores us heals us through the sacrament of confession he is a providing shepherd he provides for our spiritual well being the shepherd is a protecting shepherd we find a verse in this psalm his rod and his staff comforts us the rod can cannot comfort us it is like a stick that we use to correct our children it does not comfort it frightens the shepherd uses the rod and the staff to comfort the staff will definitely comfort us but will the rod comfort us as yes, my dear brothers and sisters in a world of today where everything seems to be politically correct nobody has the courage to correct another person because we are afraid and therefore in our life whenever we, we whenever we receive correction from somebody else or even we receive correction from god it should be comfortable to us because that will help us to change our lives to take the path of righteousness that the lord shows otherwise we may think that whatever we do is the just way the right way and ultimately it will lead us to our destruction the shepherd is also a promising shepherd verse 6 of this psalm says in the lord's own house shall i dwell 
forever and ever my dear brothers and sisters the ultimate joy the ultimate desire of our life of our earthly life is eternal rest with our heavenly father in the lord's own house shall i dwell forever and we shall dwell with the lord not because of our merits we shall dwell with the lord because of his goodness and mercy the lord is so good to us the lord is so merciful to us that he wills that his children enjoy his glory my dear brothers and sisters as we take part in this eucharistic celebration let us thank the lord for the gift of our brother dominic let us pray that he may enjoy permanent residency in our lord's house amen brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for a good and the good of all his holy church look with favor we pray o lord on the offerings we make for the soul of your servant dominic that being cleansed by heavenly remedies his soul may be ever alive and blessed in your glory through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it, it is right and just. just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for as one alone he accepted death so that we might all escape from dying as one man he chose to die so that in your sight we all might live forever and so 
in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Philip Neri our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Dominic whom you have called a month back from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like this may also be one with him 
in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the spouse, Blessed Joseph, with your blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, Saint Jose Maria Escriva, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, my power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, 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 under my roof. But only see the world and my soul, soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Restored by the sacred mysteries, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that your servant Dominic may be cleansed from all offenses and merit for all eternity the precious gift of the resurrection through Christ 
our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. God has built for his children in heaven, we pray. Lord, that we who mourn for Dominic in mercy never forget the love that they reflected in life, we pray. Lord, that we may always see the risen Lord as the companion of our earthly journey, keeping us firm in faith and serene in hope, we pray. 
For all the dead, especially those who are close to us and good to us, that they may share Christ's victory over them. We pray for souls in purgatory, that they may enjoy God's mercy and pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. We pray. We now pray to our Father in heaven for the living and the dead. In the words that Jesus taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, may thy we pray that Mother Mary may always be the seat for us. All together, in Mary, Almighty and eternal God, you love the world so much that you sent your only Son into the world to lead us from sin and death. We are gathered here in prayer in memory of our dearly departed, Grandel Dominic, Anita, and all who believe in him may not be lost but may have eternal life. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let so much and the rest. Oh, 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 oh,